Well, good morning, everyone. I'm sorry I'm such a mess, but I just, yeah. Didn't bother putting my hat on. It's bed head. This is what I look like when I wake up. Um, so, I woke up, uh, I don't know, about a quarter to, I don't know, it wasn't quarter to, about 20 minutes to four, or five. Had the alarm set for five, and coffee maker is supposed to come on at 4.45. So heck with it, I'm just going to get up and start the coffee, which I did. And sitting here halfway through the coffee making process, I realized that I left my coffee mug at work. Because of a whole bunch of events, which I will get to later. So I said, I'm not gonna do. I don't even have paper cups. I don't have. I don't have nothing here, as far as cups go, that I can use. So I started thinking in my head, what can I use? What can I use? What can I use? So finally, I came up with a solution, and this is my solution. It's not pretty, but it works. Anyways, because something had to be able to hold the heat, you know, not melt when you pour hot liquids in it. And so, you look here, here's my big coffee cup now. I'm just doing a little bit at a time. Hey, it works, right? Add a little sugar, stir, and enjoy. I thought about all sorts of things. I mean, you don't, I mean, coffee, you know. <laughs> You go to great lengths. Uh, maybe even a shoe. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, I even thought about letting the... <coughs> no, that's better. Brace my hand. Sorry for the wiggle. even thought about <laughs> letting the coffee maker cool, the coffee pot cool, and just drink it from the pot. I mean, I just, yeah. I even thought about emptying out the, the sugar container and pouring it in there. Just all sorts of things so anyway this works um, <clears throat> so you know again it's a adapt and overcome right you know you just make it work somehow so the uh, yesterday um, I had a bunch of projects going on one of them was moving the furniture to get them into the yurts and I finally had somebody helping me, and then later we had other people helping me, and uh, yeah, I was getting the end of the day, we had some of the larger pieces to move. These are large bed frames, um, equivalent of a, hold a, full, um, a full mattress, and they're two by sixes, and uh, they're pretty heavy. And so we got them on a forklift and got them up close to uh, where we were going to load them on the trailer. And then we were just moving them over. And uh, so I had my piece, my, my side, and uh, moved it a little ways. And as I moved my hand over to get a better grip, you know, further back on the furniture... And kind of sliding it across because it this is all sanded furniture it's all uh, you know, it's stained or shellacked or whatever and so you know it should be good right I go something rammed through my thumb I, went, I mean you know yeah it was pretty painful um, I thought okay splinter you know again um, but little did I know at the time that the splinter went through and through I mean it was a huge as far as splinters go it was a huge splinter and uh, went to the doctor uh, emergency care and uh, I mean you could see it it was sticking through um, um, dripping blood all over the place I was trying to keep the blood from dripping everywhere and so I managed to kind of hold my thumb off to the side of the forklift, you know, so it wasn't dripping on it. And uh, 
drove into the warehouse, and I said, you know, the, I mean, it was really bleeding at this time, like drip, 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 drip. So there was no way that I was going to um, put the forklift all the way back, put down the furniture, and, you know, anyways, I just parked it. I just dropped the load and parked it and turned it off. Um, my manager used to be a, uh, I don't know if she used to be a paramedic or an EMT, but some, something along those lines. So I, I kind of walked in, you know, and I'm kind of, now I'm holding my hand under my thumb um, to contain any blood that get, escapes, right? And uh, so she's in her office, and I just kind of yelled, medic, you know, and uh, she's like, whipped her head around, and I'm walking, she goes, well, what's up? And I go, well, I got a splinter. She goes, oh, quit crying. I go, no, I got a splinter. And I showed it, and you could see it all the way through. She goes, oh. <laughs> so, and then you could see the sort of moment of disgust that I, you know, actually allowed myself to become injured on a job. Not, you know, you could just kind of see it. Like, oh, yeah, God damn it, yeah. So, we got it patched up and uh, uh, enough to get to emergency care. Um, and guys I had to take care of and um, they measured it at the thickest part of it of course a splinter you know it's really thick at one end and thin at the other that's why it punctures um, but the thickest part that they measured you know pulling out was uh, I think 2.3 millimeters they said I think that's what he said so 2.3 2.5 something like that he said it appears that it missed the you know very large nerve in the thumb which I don't know how he could tell that um, but anyways so um, yeah they they were able to get it out of there and uh, with some effort so I gotta take antibiotics and of course I got this huge ass bandage on here and it uh, you know so it went through this side let's see yeah, it, was under. it entered through this side and came out this side and uh, yeah so I'm here and, uh, and the other thing is the antibiotics I'm taking he said um, now see the doctor said I asked him about taking with food he goes nah, I ain't worried about that well the pharmacist says yeah take with meals and the uh he also said you want to take some uh, yogurt with some preferably probiotics because this stuff will kill everything in your stomach. So, you, you know, you don't, if you don't do that, something with pro, probiotics, you'll get diarrhea. You know, and well, great. More. More stuff. Um, so, anyways, that's kind of what I'm, uh, I was dealing with. And, of course, you don't realize how... I don't want to say debilitating, but inconvenient. Your left thumb, even though you're right-handed, your left thumb is when, you know. But when you take it out, you realize all the things you use it for. Um, simple things like opening packages or um, unbuttoning your trousers or, or your belt. Um, just all sorts of taking off your boots. Um... But actually, last night was a pretty good night. He didn't say take anything for pain. I took ibuprofen. Um, I never woke up once to pain. Um, and actually, I woke up this morning with no pain. I was very surprised. I, mean, I was fully prepared to take ibuprofen again. And um, even now, I don't really feel pain. I mean, it's kind of throbbing a little bit but not, yeah, not painful, so, maybe I did hit the nerve, so, who knows, but, uh, anyway, today, is I, today I go in for a follow-up, and I'm gonna go to work, of course, and just do the best I can, um, obviously I won't be lifting with this hand, or not, not too much, so, um, just have to keep an eye on that, but did I mention the bandage came off? Yeah, I woke up and the bandage came off, it was off, so I had to kind of push it back on there. Um, so, 
Yeah, so anyways, <laughs> you just have to, you know, adapt and overcome. Um, it, yeah, it's not a fun experience. I mean, I guess, I don't know if it could have been worse. I guess it could have, but yeah, it was pretty, pretty bad um, as far as stuff goes. Um, but I didn't cut off a limb. I didn't have, you know, need an amputation or anything like that. So I'm lucky in that respect. So that's my little tales of woe. And, uh, you know, so I'm going to go back to my Tupperware and drink my coffee. <laughs> All right, everyone. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. See you next time. Bye.